Hello and welcome to the most vast stadium in Andalusia, the Estadio Benito Villamarín here in Seville. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner, and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. It's Real Betis up against Inter. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, here's the Betis starting 11. Claudio Bravo is the goalkeeper. Bartra plays alongside Herman Petzela in central defence. Canales plays with Juanmi on the flanks. And the central striker is Borja Iglesias. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And they kick off here. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Well, we're certainly watching Canales closely. We're not the only ones either, Stuart. What do you expect to see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Couldn't hang on to the ball. This attack looks highly promising. Dzeko. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Rodriguez Andres Guardado and a strong tackle Ivan Perisic a oh, nice ball over the top a chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it well, the referee's stamping his authority on the situation. He's decided to book him, Stuart. Well, you can't get away with that, even this early in the game. That's a bad challenge. And fired from the flank into the area. Quite clearly offside. Andres Guardado 
And it's with Rodriguez. Victor Bellerin. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here. Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. So back underway, following the equaliser. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Borja Iglesias. Wonderful chance. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity, certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Morenza get the ball rolling again. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Chalanolu. Perisic with the ball. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Must score! Keeper getting the touch. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Rodriguez. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But that won't bother them. Oh, they could finish here, Stewart. No way through. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice-headed goal. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Jekko. Chalanolu. Inter in a position of menace. Able to skip past his man. And he read it really well. Fine save. Played over. Easy save. Well, there to intercept. Now, let's see what they can do here. Teammates in the middle. 
Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Andres Guardado. Nabil Fekir. Juanmi on the ball. Very quick thinking there. Dzeko. Can they take advantage? Giving it a try. Tremendous block. Decent position. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the action underway once again. This is far from being in the bag. Inter's goal making sure of that. Borja Iglesias, Juanmi, in possession Fekir, well read to put an end to that attack, Dumfries, he's found a pocket of space, opportunity to deliver the cross, corner coming up, Deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. <laughs> Favoring the short one. Firing is in. Still possibilities. And in the end, no damage done. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. Juanmi. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Vidal. Chance to do damage, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Nabil Fekir. Throw-ins given. Time for a change then. Brozovic. Vidal. The ball with Martinez. This is Vidal. And super tackle and they've won possession. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And that break looked so promising, but... Nothing coming from it. Could cross it in here.
Enter fighting against the clock and the scoreline, but still they believe. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Martinez. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Andres Guardado. Five minutes to go. And Inter might be able to cash in here. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Martinez. Perisic. And will it be the leveller? Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes. 